Hello, my foodie friends. Here's the JN twist on Peking duck. What's that, you may ask? It's not for purists. It's just my version, a fusion of Peking and roast duck. This recipe requires a lot of patience and truly is a labor of love, but seriously rewarding to say, oh yeah, this is my homemade Peking duck. So let's get cooking. Let's start with the glaze. Three quarter cup brown sugar, one tablespoon thick dark soy, one teaspoon salt, two tablespoons rice wine, any brand would work, and half cup hot water. Mix until all the granules of sugar and salt are completely dissolved and set aside until needed. Now here's our marinade. In a mixing bowl, add in four green onion tips thinly sliced, one tablespoon minced garlic, half tablespoon salt, two tablespoons sugar, half tablespoon five spice powder, two tablespoons Lee Kum Kee garlic hoisin sauce with two cubes of fermented bean curd. Mix well to incorporate all the ingredients. Traditionally, Peking duck is not marinated this way, but I like my meat more tasty and flavorful. Normally, after carving, the bones are used for a soup, and the meat is chopped, stir-fried, and served as lettuce wraps, or fried with garlic, black peppercorn, and salt, served with rice. So, if you prefer the traditional way, just season your duck with salt. When choosing a duck, I suggest getting one that's smaller and lean. This one is just under 4 pounds. I'm also using a stop vertical grill, which I highly recommend. Not only does it evenly cook the duck, it also keeps the duck meat so moist. First, let's prepare our bird. Bring a big wok of water to a boil. This poaching process will help separate the skin from the fat. See how wrinkly it is? Now watch what happens when I pour the hot water over the skin. It tightens right up. This will help give us that crispy skin. Now pour the marinade into the cavity of the duck as shown. Swirl it around to evenly coat the inside with the seasonings and place it back on the vertical roaster. Brush on the glaze. Make sure to completely glaze your entire bird. This to me is like painting watercolors. Brush your glaze on, dry it with a blow dryer and brush more. Repeat this coating another two times. Set your glaze aside until required. Carefully pour out any drippings. Do be careful to save any extra marinade. Using two skewers, prop the wings up like this. This will ensure even drying on the skin and then place your duck in the fridge uncovered overnight to continue drying. After 24 hours, look at that beautiful dried skin. Now preheat your oven to confections roast to 275 Fahrenheit. We're gonna slow roast this baby. Apply another coat of glaze and we'll roast it for 5 hours, reapplying the glaze every hour. After the 5 hours, turn your oven to broil at 375 Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Do keep an eye on it so it doesn't burn and cover it loosely as shown with tin foil. Turn off the heat and allow the duck to rest for at least 20 minutes in the warm oven before slicing into it. Now listen to that crispy skin. And look at that color. A beautiful reddish brown, crispy skinned perfection. Served with julienned cucumbers, carrots and scallions. Smear some garlic hoisin sauce over some pancakes and wrap it. Or serve it with steamed bao buns. That's my favorite. Mmm, yum. Enjoy. Thank you for watching. Please support and subscribe for more videos. Connect with me on Facebook or Instagram. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, happy eating!